All right, so in light of current events, we're going to be talking about Black Lives Matter, police brutality, all that stuff. And you haven't heard of us before, you likely haven't at least. And you'll get to know us in our next episode of a podcast, which we're hopefully going to be starting. And I think we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. So the first topic we were going to start on is we just want to make it clear that we support, like, Black Lives Matter, the entire movement, and peaceful protests. Yeah, and peaceful protests. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to... No shadow of a doubt. I can't not support it. It's it yeah. wouldn't make sense. It would be against my moral compass to not support this. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so just if anyone doesn't know what's been going on, I you one of you guys is probably better equipped to explain that than me. Do you care? You to, don't know. Um, I'm you still. Don't know you've been living under a rock. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I basically, yeah. I didn't. So. So basically, what started this was the uh, murder of George Floyd. He was held down for eight minutes and forty six seconds uh, by a police officer. Do you... He had a knee on. He had his knee on George Floyd's knee. neck. Yeah, he but said, like... "I can't breathe." Multiple times, he was unconscious for at least three minutes in those eight minutes and forty six seconds. And it just the public is an outrage. They should be. It makes complete sense. And it, it, they're showing a side that need of the police that needs to be shown. Well, that was a very good introduction. Thank you for that. You know, like, everything yeah. from, like, the very last detail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Dang. Like, people are reasonably unhappy and outraged over this. And it's, like, it's escalated into what is not the best way to deal with it. And much better ways to deal with it. And some of the more peaceful protests, like, it's. I've I've seen very little of it just because I don't pay attention to the news very much. But some of the more some of the peaceful protests I've seen are genuinely inspiring. Just large masses of people cooperating with one goal and not doing anything stupid. Yeah. And see, uh, see, do we want to talk about any specific examples of protests or just kind of the entire thing? Um, we can look up some. There are, have been a lot of protests. Yeah, and it's all over the U.S. I've seen some stuff yeah. in even the in U.K. other countries, too. Yeah. Yeah. All uh, over the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's uh, protests in every state in the U.S., and there's been protests in Afghanistan, Afghanistan. London. Afghanistan. I think I saw one in Belgium. Huh. Probably. Seen them in Ireland. Yeah. Man, the whole country. We got the whole world on this. We do. Yeah. And they should be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's a lot more than I've heard about. I've only heard about some here in the U.S. and then some in the U.K. <laughs> as well. Yeah. They, they're supposed to be peaceful and then they escalate. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's the bad part. With police. <laughs> a lot of the time... Uh, cool. When the riots start, it's either A, because there's some outside person that is just wanting to instigate something, or B, the police did something that they probably shouldn't have, or C, people just get really mad and then they can't control their anger, which mm-hmm. I don't blame them for. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, imagine being like one of the cops and like there's, it's your job, you're told, hey, uh, we need you today, you, we gotta, you're, there's a riot going on, you need you to like make sure nothing escalates too bad and you're just in the front line while people are throwing rocks at you, hitting you with a bat, like, that would suck. Yeah, that would, you, yeah. of course you don't want to be there, you're gonna get angry, you're like, yeah, like you're if you not- say, oh, be there i'm in support of it well that's your job and yeah you're not it. supposed to hit them but anyone would if it got bad enough and one one th- example on twitter i saw was from it was matt watson retweeting a video of his name is g jordan he like he wants to fight for uh just inclusivity and unity in general and he was on he was on his knee talking. No one was doing anything bad. And it is like it's an incredibly heartfelt speech. He's talking about he wants to just he wants to be friend with everyone. He wants to see the best side of everyone. 
and he's not doing anything threatening. No one in the video is doing anything threatening either. And there's a line of riot police in front of them, which is understandable. A large gathering of people can easily escalate, so I don't blame them for being there. But then someone from behind the front line pushed their way out, took hold of him, and handcuffed him and dragged him back. And it, he looked like he was going along peacefully, which is incredible. Like, that is incredible of him. But, of course, it's still wrong. And he, I think he was willing to let it happen if he knew that it was, that he was supporting something good. And mm -hmm. reasonably, everyone else there it just became suddenly outraged when they walked out and grabbed him for no apparent reason. True. Well, I guess yeah, I would be too. Both sides, like, yeah, you could, you just always have to have an open mind for everything. That's mm -hmm. how you survive life, pretty much. Yeah, and I don't like saying there were black people and white people, but you could see, like, he he's black. He's out in the front talking, and a big group of people, you can see both white and black behind him, just kneeling behind him, completely silent, doing nothing wrong, holding their fists up in support of what he's saying. And they come out, one officer grabs him, and everyone, are, everyone else starts freaking out that yeah. they shouldn't have done that. And this like... was, the tweet I saw was from Matt Watson, and he was saying, yeah, at Charleston PD, I know you guys have a terrible track record, so I'm not fully surprised, but can you explain this? I haven't seen a response from them, unsurprisingly. I wonder, like, but... probably the cops probably have whatever meaning, maybe, I guess, to arresting him. But If then he it... was peacefully protesting, you can't yeah. arrest someone for protesting. Mm -hmm. like, he wasn't luck... doing anything wrong. He was expressing his opinion, First Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I arrest someone for that. He wasn't resisting. He wasn't doing anything wrong. You can't just arrest someone for voicing their opinion and being yeah. frustrated that this is happening to a yeah. whole race of people. You're getting mad at the other crowd, at the crowd who charged or not charged, but like we're starting the peaceful riot and not the, the protest to get a little bit escalated because like if you're standing up for something you like or that you believe in and you see the person who's practically leading it, just get like. Uh, tackled or uh, handcuffed what would you do i personally would start like um getting pissed off like really fast yeah, yeah. And, like i i probably wouldn't be there in the first place just because i don't want to be around that many people and i don't want to be in a stressful situation like that but if i if i was there for whatever reason i'd i'd try to support him in whatever way i can without make without being more aggressive and yeah because yeah. you can't especially nowadays like i guess back then you could be aggressive you could have been aggressive and still come out like okay probably but now you get like you show that you're aggressive and next thing you know you're, you're dead you're on shot. the ground bleeding you're on the yeah. ground there's a net over your face yeah that and that's just disappointing it, it's just yeah, it sad is. it's disappointing it's wrong. honestly disturbing that this is even happening we had a civil war a whole movement for you, know, you not this just this should not still be happening. It's been what 400, 500, 600 years. How long is it going to take people to realize that just because you have a little bit more melanin in your skin makes you any different? You're not different. We're all human. Yeah. That doesn't decrease our potential. Our brains are not smaller. What color do you believe? We are not stupid. We will not rob you. I mean, some do, but white people do it. Asian people do it, Hispanic people do it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you're from. If you want to rob someone, it you doesn't matter I, where you're from, you might end up doing it. Every yeah. single probably rob somebody. Cause, well, and I shouldn't say want lot. to rob someone. It's much, much, A lot of the time, it is circumstantial. <laughs> but anyone, anyone of any race is not better nor peacefuler. Everyone is exactly the same. It's inside the singularity of the person. Yeah, what it's they, yes. it's what you're surrounded by. It's it's what you're raised with. It's not. Yes. That's, say, that's not to say that you can't have some of those behaviors without even realizing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know. For like, sometimes I get like aggressive and I get really mad. Sometimes really quick, and I'm not supposed to. But um, that's probably just because I guess of my surroundings and like what's going on in my head. 
Yeah, and like the important thing is you can realize that and you can realize that it's wrong. Yeah. Whereas like, yeah. a lot of these, I think a lot of these problems stem from like people are raised in a way that they think aggression right. towards certain people is okay. Know, probably like, yeah. well, black, and they don't think of like, what is the consequence or what is going to happen if I do this action? Yeah. Yeah. And I heard a great quote from a, a lady on the news. I, I don't have the video, but she said bigotry is not learned. I mean, it's not um, like gained or something. It's learned. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, anything that you learn, you can unlearn it. And it's time people unlearn it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like I always say, um, life's just a big game of chess. And like, um, are you like every move you do, everything like protests or arrests you make, or not? I guess you can't do arrests, but like every protest, everything you stand up for, that opens up new stuff for your team and the other your um supposedly the opponent's team. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, so, in very heavy air quotes, there just because, yeah, but, like, just okay, because okay, someone okay. disagrees with you doesn't mean they're wrong. They could be right in their own. They could think they're right. They think they're the good guys. They think you're the bad guy. You can't and just say like, this is good. This is bad. Of yeah. course, in a situation <laughs> like this, you can clearly say that pretty obvious. equality it's is pretty good, clear. not equality is bad. But <laughs> in interpersonal things, you can't just say this is bad. This is this is bad, this is wrong, this is good, this is right, whatever. You have to yeah. you have to understand what why the other person thinks that they're right and why they think that you're wrong. Yeah. And then like you can use that to just so you can just use that to solve issues so much better without even having the protest. You have to of, be empathetic about it. Yeah. Yeah. And of course it's not good that it has to it comes down to needing protests needing large groups of people going out of their way to do this and that's not good but just it's so hard to get large messages out there sometimes that you kind of need it and yeah. i think if people just learned to be more empathetic to understand people more to just not be angry yeah because then like, it would be so like, much I like, easier oh i know that this happened i'm gonna like attack somebody right now what you need to think is all right i'm angry what can i do to like s express in a peaceful way that hey this is not right or i don't believe in this instead of being like oh you punch you in the face because that's how you get riots going on and that's not good mm -hmm. at all yeah. so like every like put it like peaceful protests where you put it on a sign and you just yell it out that i would say is probably like Right now, for everyone's anger, probably the best way they can hand, ha do it. Yeah. It's just like, let it like get out of your way, get people or move people out of your way to like push a cop. That is not, yeah. You've just you. That's when you change everything around. It's something new, and start ten times more problems. Mm -hmm. It's like everything gets bad as soon as one person starts fighting. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, like, if I were in the protests and I saw, like, someone start punching a cop, I'd be like, oh, I'm a dip, because I would yeah. be like, associated with this. You can try to pull them away from the fight, but then they're going to get mad at you. The cops might and then think you're, you're supporting and then if you them. Do that, you're you might get hit all. accidentally. It's just, yeah. you want to avoid angry people. That, that's what I want to do in my life. I just want to in, uh, avoid angry people. Yeah. yeah. Like... As human beings, our goal for everything should be um, peace, to not be equal. violence. And the only way you're not you're gonna solve violence is not with more violence. That just multiplies violence. Yeah, it's yeah. like sure you may be able to beat someone so far into submission that they can't fight back, but someone else will fight they back for them. And they they have will fight you for yeah. fighting someone else. Just fighting doesn't work. Yeah. And. <sighs> Yeah, it's, 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 dis it's disappointing, and... It is, it's very disappointing. And it's, like, it's hard to come up with, to find a solution for it, because the U.S. is so big that if you have one solution that works in one district that makes one school teach anti-racism better, or one community teach it better, you can't expand that quickly enough and effectively enough to everyone. I mean, you could try and pop in a small town, but... 
remember this that's like a small town or a small little community against an entire country that has millions of people inside of it so mm -hmm. and i guess and you need to start like you need to start small you need to start with building on upon your community you need everyone everywhere working on the same thing yeah because like if you start off small but more people also get inspired by it they'll start off in their small towns and then their small towns will spread it out to bigger communities and to cities and hopefully mm -hmm. everywhere yeah it starts with just like one person finds something really important to them they tell their family their family tells their co-workers their co-workers tell their co-workers it starts There's expanding no those care co-workers tell their families it starts building and building and building and building into one big movement and like normally i wouldn't do something like this because i don't like getting involved with heavy topics but something like this it's just i don't like seeing it it hurts to see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah like when i was watching the new was it yesterday i think it was yesterday it like mentally hurt like my eyes and everything seeing that um the cops the people who protect the Americans, the Americans who are um, the Americans and they're supposed to be supportive of everybody clashing together. Like, oh, it's like seeing two best friends fighting each other for um, random reasons. Mm -hmm. it's I just, just I see you on the inside. It's two groups that you don't want to see fighting because you know it's not going to end well. Yeah, it's not going to end well for either of them. It's not going to end well for the police because they're going to get immense backlash from just doing what they were told they probably they may have not been told to do the right thing but they were still told to do it and yeah because like thinking of the cop they had like what are they going to do say no because one that's really not a good thing to say in front of your uh, boss especially if you're in any of the police force or anything mm -hmm. like that and then again even if they said no they had like look at the behind the armor and all this they're a person a living person with feelings yeah, and they like and dislike. They have a family. They have, they have children. a family that they need money. They do. They need cash. But you, you can't just go along with it. If you go yeah. along with the systemic racism, that makes you a bad cop. If you yeah. are a good cop and you do everything right, and then you let it slide when someone else does it, you are a bad cop. Mm -hmm. Good. If you let your boss get away with it, do something about it. Don't yeah. just say, "Oh, it's fine." No, report it. Do anything you have to to get that out. It should not be there. It should not be like this. Yeah, this should need... not happen to anyone. If you need to, just a leave. Good cop is someone who actually does what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to protect and serve. A good cop is not someone who just follows orders. It's mm -hmm. not protecting and serving. Yeah. That's just um, following think, orders. Yeah, like, and uh, wait, wait back before our time, wasn't that like a test? They would be like, um, for like, not not the cops, like for the highly trained, um like the veterans and stuff wasn't that like a test like will they go far enough as in like um shooting on random civilians or will they actually say hey i ain't doing this if this is my job and that was like an actual test i think they had back then or it was something similar to that i think yeah i, it, I don't know exactly what you're talking about but just like you don't want people going into the police force because they want to be violent that's not yeah. good like, you don't want to see the bully with the badge, because that's what they are. It's that uh, high school bully that went and became a cop, so that way they could go and bully anyone they wanted to without having to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what you, you want to see is like the class president. Yeah, or you want who someone who cares about their community, yeah. cares about their city, wants to see it grow and be better. Because like, yeah, I like I like our city. There are plenty of things wrong with it, but. Like, I care about it enough that if, I, I think if something threatened, like, the entire te integrity of the city that would ruin it for everyone, I would stand up for the city. It's not a great city, there are plenty of problems for it, but I want it to be better. I want it to, I don't want it to be one of the worst cities to live in. Yeah. And we're on the edge, <laughs> um, yeah, we're on the edge right there too, so. Yeah. <laughs> have been supposedly there have been protests here too yeah yeah there have uh i think they're all in downtown yeah. like in the middle downtown yeah. so down i think there's a few somewhere else but i can't say for sure uh, yeah yeah and then it's just and i think 
part of the problem with the rioting is one person starts it, then the other people, they're already mad. They they go along with it. They do it as well because you're you're just you're swept up in it. It's it's over, like I think it it is just overwhelming. You didn't want to be there, but you felt like it was necessary enough to support something important like this. And yeah, and going back on like the teaching people thing, um, is yeah, it's true. We need to like teach people that violence is not the way to support mm-hmm. or support the um to show your feelings for something. Like things only escalate with violence on ruling that you're angry at something. Yeah. It's so, like, yeah. the way to support something like this is to talk about it. You tell, yeah. you find people who will listen to you, you can listen to them, you talk about it. You take yeah, your right. ideas, you give them your ideas. Let the violence on the protests, hopefully, because that's pretty much what I think we need, like, in the future there might be more stuff that we don't like, but hopefully we can, have, like, as a society, we can make ourselves better to, like, not go into violence and start writing but just have a peaceful protest yeah and like i want the entire world to be able to learn from this year because this year has been awful and yeah. it's only june especially this yeah. year oh, yeah. where we are oh my god yeah like march april through june has been like just the worst yeah <laughs> yeah and like i want i want people to be able to look at it and be that was a horrible idea. Why did we do that? Yeah, like, Why did made- we get angry at Asians for a country that they might have nothing to do with not handling this disease quickly? Why do we look yeah. at black people for doing something that they didn't ever do? Why, Why do you... Why is there so much racism? Why can't we just not? Yeah. Why do... And this is this is another thing. Why do people feel why do people feel like wearing a mask is infringing on their personal rights? Yeah, really what was that? that? Where in the Wait. Constitution does it oh. say you don't have to wear a mask? Yeah, <laughs> your everyone has rights to not die. Uh, yeah, rights it, end where someone else's begins. Just wear the damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a mask. What is it gonna do to you? If you don't want to wear a mask, don't leave your house. Yeah, Yeah, problem solved. And then on top of the rioting, we got viruses that could kill us. That will probably, or not will, can kill us. So we have a lot, yeah, 2020, we have a lot of stuff to work with. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's, I hope that people can look at it and be, just take everything wrong with it and look at it. How do we make that not happen? How yeah, do like we... in the future, I want people to look at 2020 and be like, okay, oh, this virus hit and there was racist, racist um, riots. I, I don't know how to say it, but I want to like learn. So next time something like this happens, I'll take it differently. Mm-hmm. How do we build a government that can get medical supplies out to everyone fast? How do we build a government that supports people who peacefully protest? How do we build a government that doesn't support system- systemic racism? How do we build an environment that just that's innocent until proven guilty? No yeah. one is yeah. bad until they've done something that makes them bad. And even then, it's not that easy because just because they did something bad doesn't mean they are a bad person. They could have been pressured into it by so many different things that you have to look at it and understand what went wrong here. Is it the person? Okay. If it was truly the person, you can deal with the person themselves. Was it someone else telling the person what to do? How can you find the people that do that and stop them from influencing other people? Is it belief? How do you find belief? And without criticizing people for believing that, how do you build upon those beliefs to make them friendlier? How do you make a country where everyone's happy? I, that's hard. That's probably not going to happen. No one's ever, no one's yeah. ever going to be happy. No one is ever going to always be happy everywhere. Just like, oh, the country's never going to be happy. Let's just mess everything up because might as well. No, you can, your plan, your, what you're doing is you're supposed to improve on what's going on. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, if you have a platform, use it. It may not be a very sturdy platform. So build upon it, make it stronger and use it. 
don't that's why we're here don't just yeah. throw it we away don't have any platform at all don't even though we ignore have it nobody listening to us at all we're still here talking about it because yeah. it's that important because it doesn't matter if anybody watches this or not at least we said something. At least we did our part and got our word out. Mm-hmm. You're not like and going out with a baseball bat and hitting a guy with, with it. No, we're saying like we're peaceful. I'm sitting right here, nice and comfy in my chair, no weapons in hands. I'm just and I'm, I'm just talking, you know. Yeah, like like the only thing I could have right now is a guitar pick. I don't I don't know why I'm fidgeting like, with this. Yeah, you have to fight. Use your words. Yeah, like what's I don't know. I forgot who made the quote, but the pen is stronger than the sword. Yeah, yeah, that that, that, that is that. that has exist existed for forever, and it's it's true. Like so, to mod- to make it modern, the keyboard or the microphone is stronger than your your fists, or uh, yeah, the screen is stronger than the bat. Yeah, <laughs> Twitter is stronger than a knife. Yeah, or whatever <laughs> use nowadays, but yeah. yeah. Especially if you turn the brightness all the way up and turn it in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> It's no. like mace, but more fun. Fr- not. <laughs> all our good stuff, gang. But yeah, it's I'll like to make a joke about Twitter being a weapon. It's like it's if you good. have a if you have a platform, use it. If someone yeah. disagrees with you, don't fight them. Ask them yeah. why am I wrong? Yeah, ask them, or if they're just gonna be like really mean about it, and they're like even like gonna be like, oh, I'll punch your head off. Just be like, all right, I'm just gonna ignore you then. Yeah, I'm not going to. I need to share this picture with you guys. It's this is going in the history books. Oh, <laughs> literally will not not go in the history books. Yeah, it's the one about Crystal Smith. By the way, I okay. want to give her a hug. I want to like give her all of my money. She deserves it. She's great. I love her. Never Gosh. met her, but she's Wait. cool. She's so cool. Be it like yeah. it. <laughs> If I'm, I'm going to talk about this picture a bit, I'll put it up in the video when I'm editing. The guy on the yeah. left, he just looks so confused. <laughs> oh no, that's the guy who did it. He's like the kid who, who like, I don't know, who like just slapped a kid and then his mother caught him doing it. Yeah. Yeah. He was oh. like, oh no, you weren't, you're not supposed to, uh oh. Yeah, yeah. He, he realized, he just got caught. That's the face of someone who gets caught. Yeah, it's he the dog that, he screwed up. it's the dog that tore up the cushions. When the owner came home. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, she is going off. That is just an amazing picture. Yeah. It's so powerful. It and like, is. also, you know that? If you did do something wrong, admit it. <laughs> yeah. And, like, don't be like, oh, fine, yeah, I killed this guy. Don't be like, I'm, I did do it. I'm sincerely sorry. I will do anything to repay, even if it means take, or, yeah, pretty much something like that. And don't film a dead body in the suicide forest and then apologize oh. for it and then tase a dead rat three weeks later. Oh my boy. <laughs> we'll be getting to him in a minute. Yeah, we'll be getting to him shortly. Ugh. And his brother, of course, because you, yeah. you can't yeah. talk about one without the other. They're yeah, just they're, like, there's like a... they're, they're two sides of the same coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, one's being okay, the other one's being horrible. The first one's being horrible, though, the other one's being okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right, you you want to take a little break for a few minutes before we continue? <laughs> well, yeah. Next section, I might like get mad. I mean, we could post a two-hour podcast about this. I don't care. Yeah, it's just like if you have a platform, use it. Make your opinion known. If don't use someone- violence. Yeah, if, don't be violent. If someone disagrees with you, talk to them. Don't confront them. Talk to them. Ask them, what do you think? Why do you think that? Why do you think yeah. I'm wrong? Use, like, Use logic and reason unless logic and reason doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, if yeah. it doesn't work, If it doesn't, then, just I don't know what to do. Then don't associate with them. Oh, yeah. Just don't even talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're back from our, like... The however long break we have now it was like 20 minutes yeah we have now regained our consciousness um i am yeah we were dead before this. i am slightly less uncomfortable because my fan has been running uh oh, yeah. so we'll go ahead and uh start again with just a very another very bold statement i'm not bold but another very it's large really... blanket statement acab is bad not good 
Not no. entirely. It's not true. It's not. Yeah. Can under- it's I can just... understand why it exists. Yeah, yeah, but it's like just because but someone is right. a cop it doesn't mean they're a bad person. Yeah. Yeah. Like. It's the the. It's the, the. What's the word? The. You can do it. You got it. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's system, something like that. It's the system they're a part of, not the individual person. Yeah, there are a lot of individual bad people. Yeah, yeah, and it's just that. like, and like all of the cops, like all of these specific cops that I hear about, like they're I they're good people. Like yeah. I knew, I knew, I knew people whose parents were cops. They were great people. I I haven't. Have I? No, I haven't actually met any. But I've I've been close to meeting some, and they're just, they're a lot of them seem like really good people that just care about the community they're in. They care I've met about a couple of them. Yeah, they care about teaching people how to be safe and how to protect themselves, and they want to make sure people are safe. And of course, there are bad cops. The person who killed the George Floyd, the cop that started everything, like he is a bad person. He's like, a horrible person. Oh, yeah, All the definitely. cops involved and the, the first medical examiner should have been charged with, like, second-degree murder or association to murder or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I haven't read up a whole lot on that, but just... Okay, if you need to pin someone down, that's reasonable. But if you're pinning someone down for, and then they stop, like, eight and a half yeah. minutes <laughs> with your knee on their neck and they multiple times they say they can't breathe, you're just... You're not okay. That's just murder. No. That's nothing I mean, short of murder. You, yeah, it might as well. It, it's not manslaughter. How can you even see that as manslaughter? It's not manslaughter. That's he not self-defense. It. No, it's not. He he wasn't a threat. You were pinning him down. How is he even a threat? He didn't wasn't even, even armed. On him. No, he wasn't. He was an it unarmed was guy. Second degree murder. For all I know, it was first degree murder. They could have just seen him and knew they were going to kill him. For, yeah. That's for all we know. It and could... just the people who let it happen. That's the most disappointing thing. Because sure, there's going yeah. to, there's always going to be that one bad person. But the people there were who six or four cops. Yeah, like the people four. that Could've saw been. it and let it happen. That's yeah. That's yeah. the bad part. Oh, also, um, the whole that was horrible, and I'm proud of the way that uh, Minnesota has. Uh, uh, geez, I'm not good with words handled it a little bit is they've filed a civil rights lawsuit against the Minneapolis uh, police department oh the city and like the, sued the, the police uh, department and Minnesota public school or Minneapolis public schools I think have cut any contracts they had with the police department so good on them for doing that yeah that that's impressive I like that well, yeah. I don't know where but there's this group of cops when there's protests and then one of them got an announcer thing, and he said, "All right, we're going to um, pay our respects to what's his name, George Floyd." Yeah, George Floyd, and like all the cops from that district, they all just took a knee for like a good minute. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a great video out there. So, I saw where, I'll congr- um, I don't know. I forgot where we're at, but I congratulate those guys for like actually being like, "All right, we ain't just gonna be here trying to make sure that people aren't killing each other, but we're actually gonna take a knee." For the cause, because we're part, we we yeah, we're sorry to hear that this happened. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just so, like like I was saying, great video out there. This protester was like crying because it was the situation was so stressful and they were like so upset and so afraid. And this police officer officer comes over and hugs them and tells them it's going to be okay. I'm with you. I know this is hard. It's just. It melted my heart. I was like, yeah. oh man, that's amazing. Like that that, that is like, the best thing ever. Bad people. Yeah. Well, there's proof right there that all cops aren't bad people. Yeah, like some of them are, yes. Some of them are bad by association, yes. But I like I'd like to believe that the majority of them just want to protect their community and that's why they're doing it. It's like if you see one guy wearing a red beanie punch you in the face, that apparently means everyone who wears a red beanie like must die. Like, no, yeah. that's it's not. Like, pe- people in um, people who say like, uh, the protesters are bad because there's rioting, then they should also say that all cops are bad because they're doing exactly this. And if they don't, they're just hypocrites. You can't say yeah. that 
did and, not do that for everything. And like you can't look at a peaceful protest and say, "Oh, the cops are there. That's horrible." No, the cops are oh, there because they need to be there. Trying to make sure, yes, yes, they need to protect those people. They need to make sure that no one does anything bad. They like they need to escort it. So like with you're protesting, and if there's no cops, all of a sudden someone whips out like a weapon and starts hurting. Like, What's gonna happen? Well, the cops ain't there to help you, and mm -hmm. like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's like the cops are there for a reason. That doesn't make them bad. And things with yeah. like, um, just football parades. The cops are there. Yeah, Pride every... parades. The cops are there. They gather uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. The cops are there yeah, because that's what they're supposed to do. We have to have cops around us as bodyguards, like. Don't think of cops as, oh, this guy wants to kill me because uh, George, he killed, yeah. But it's hard cops to think that, too, when um, when a whole minority is being, like, scrutinized by the police. Like, I get why people are afraid of the police. Because, especially if you're, like, African-American, I don't know if I'm supposed to say black or uh, well, I'm just black, black, I African-American. I, I, I think like, either is okay. okay. But... So it's, I just don't know which one's going to be offensive. To more, more people, because like I prefer African American over black person, but you know other people like black person over African American, which is a whole thing. Yeah, I don't know. But, it. I think just both are okay enough. Yeah, but especially if you're a black person, it's I get why you would be afraid, because like you don't want to be the next victim. Yeah, that's you going to die. You don't want to become a statistic. You don't no, want you to don't. accidentally become a martyr. No one wants that. No, nobody wants that. And that's why people are afraid. They don't want to be beaten. They don't want to be killed. Yeah, and, like, Not another just... thing is the <laughs> cops are so nameless. Like, they're behind all this gear. You can't see them. That's scary. Yeah. No, you can't. Like, and you can't see that there's that... a person there. If I went to I a mean... race, like, I would want their armor, too, because I don't want to get hit in the rock or by a rock in the face without any protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just I like mean, the like the cops want to be protected, but they want to protect the people there. And yeah, it's not difficult when uh, you're throwing Molotovs at them. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I mean, I've been very blessed to be born into a family that's like very up upholding citizen. You know, we've never done anything horrible. We've no never done any record. tax evasion. <laughs> no, we've never done any grand larceny. Nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> We've been good people. Uh, and not I've even a little grand people. larceny? Not even a tiny <laughs> larceny? No, we haven't robbed a bank yet. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Wait, yeah. we're yet. <laughs> shut up. Anyways, I've been very lucky and that's a good thing. But yeah. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm gonna be the next victim. I don't want to be the next victim. I don't want anybody close to me or near me that I know to be the next victim. Of yeah, because like you don't want to be a victim of anything, period. Because being a victim is just bad in and of itself. Yeah, like, yeah. me, I find it's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, you but, can't like... blame George Floyd for dying. He was murdered. Nobody asked to be murdered. He yeah. definitely didn't ask to be murdered. Yeah, yeah. So, like, on that same note, like even when I'm driving and doing errands for stuff. I don't just be like, oh, it's a cop, I gotta lock up, or oh, it's a black person, I gotta lock up. No, every single person I see, I, I don't know if it's just me being paranoid or insecure, but every person I see, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, all right, um, possible person who could murder me, I'm gonna yeah. just be safe, because I don't know them. Could be a, a pretty lady in a, in a dress. I don't know if she's gonna turn out to be like Carrie or something and freaking murder me. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's good to be um suspicious but not too suspicious yeah. like you don't want to be paranoid but you want to be prepared in the True. case that this is a bad person how are you going to defend yourself yeah and also like speaking of like if you're like if there is don't always react and like too crazily even if it seems like they're actually like like a gangster or something like that because then again they're also a human being they could just be walking down the street going home and they just like tattoos or mm -hmm. like they like just clothing. because someone is wearing a hoodie or they have tattoos or they're wearing a do rag does not mean you need exactly. to stop them, pull them over, frisk them, or arrest them. 
you there's no proof that yeah, they like, did anything wrong. you don't even need to go near them you can uh, just not, like no if yeah. you're if you run across them in the sidewalk then just like you don't have to say anything you could just say hi you could just keep going you don't have to do yeah. anything there Tree, is, no. uh, it doesn't matter what a person looks like if you can tell when a person is actually being suspicious, if yeah. they're just walking down the street, being yeah. completely normal, that's not suspicious. That's yeah, just it's like, you being that's you. a horrible person. Yeah, and it's just like, if they're walking down the street looking at their phone with their hood up, that might mean that's they're doing normal. something bad. Hey, that but means, just, like, no, that ears are cold. But it's just like, that might mean they could be doing something bad, or that just means they don't like people. Yeah, they're just trying to look busy because oh, that's Tree, what I do. Um, not the same case, but like that that has happened many times before where like somebody got arrested not because of racial things, but just the way they dressed, I guess. Or the way they yeah, look it's, not it by race. Yeah, it's just like some of them are wearing like they look they look like a motorcyclist and they've been arrested and stuff, like that's the thing. They decided, yo, I kind of look good in tattoos. I look good in this in this hoodie. I'm going to wear it like that. And then people judge them. And yeah. They, it's just like, if they aren't hurting you, why does it matter? Yeah, calling back all the way to, um, I think it was the 90s. This is a case that I've also been kind of like this for a long time. But this one guy, um, mohawk, really big mohawk, uh, leather jacket, spikes, and he was labeled as um what you call is in with the bad crowd but and um one day he got into a fight with a bunch of guys from high school from his high school and he died and the guy who killed him was let free because um apparently he was a monster and he looked ugly and deserved to die but he uh, to die unless he killed yeah but people but then freaking years later, people looked at the history of him, and he was actually, like, a really nice person. He was making friends with everybody, and he was he was actually just a really nice person. He just liked having mohawks and dark clothing. Yeah. And it's and just like, if you see... Got if murdered, you, and the murderer got away. It's like, if you see someone wearing a do-rag, is that bad? No, they just like no, to do that with their it's hair. it's comfortable. Some people just, it's its nice to wear a do-rag because it gets the hair out of your face. Yeah. It's part of your culture. And it's I mean, just what they felt like wearing that day. Because wearing your natural hair. People apparently don't like African-American natural hair. It's not classy enough with the, uh, the finger things. I don't know what it's called. It's hair. <laughs> Why do you, uh huh? Why yeah, do you... it's like, they what? wear it so that way they're respectful enough for you. They shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, yeah like, but no, you're gonna still criticize them because they're wearing something completely normal. Yeah, I don't like those people. Like, oh, they chose to wear that, meaning that they were aware that they were gonna get arrested and hit today. No, yeah, it's like you're right. They did choose to wear something that they like to wear. Did yeah, they know it would get them killed that day? Like, no. no, victim blame. The yeah, idea. yeah, like, oh, they chose to wear this rebellious stuff, and you chose to wear jeans and a sweatshirt. And um, I don't see much. Yeah, that that's it. Yeah, that's all. that's all, folks. And it's just like if it is genuinely the victim's fault that something bad happened to them. Well, it's like, well, why did it happen? Did they do True. something wrong? How do you prevent that something wrong from happening again? Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah, you don't protect people by blaming them for being, for doing something wrong. You protect people by telling them that this probably isn't what you should be doing. Here's how you can do it better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially because over where we all live, um, for the people who are watching, um, me personally, with my experience, all the people I've seen that are have deserved to get arrested and stuff. If you saw them walking down the street, you would think nothing of them. They look completely normal. Mm-hmm. They just look like, like a person that would be there. And stuff. Yeah. Literally normal person. And then they're the ones causing all the crimes. And then when I go to school, my best friends and stuff, they're rare, like they look like stuff like they look scary and stuff. But they're my best friends. They're really chill. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like, 
um, people, I just want people to get along. Uh, people just like, I don't know. It just, people just like the being prideful and taking it up a level to a level where it's not supposed to be good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, it, it's kind of getting a bit derailed, derailed here. You guys said you want to talk about privilege? Sounded like, uh, Maya, you yeah. had something you wanted to say about that, Aaron. You had something. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, if you are not black, and especially if you are white, use your privilege to help out black people who need it. Damn. Yeah. That's my yeah. statement here on that. Just like... Mm -hmm. And also realize that you have the privilege. You need to figure that out first. Yeah. And also, most white people have, let's say all of them, have like little little bits of racism that they learn that they don't even realize are racist. Mm -hmm. Like, do research on that. Yeah, like learn what are the things that I do in my everyday life that are wrong? How can I fix it? Yeah, it's like, it's like the little kid that says a curse word. And everyone gets mad at them. Well, they, they said a curse word because they heard it from somebody and they don't know it means something bad. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Like, you can't get mad at a four-year-old for saying something bad if they don't know it was bad. They just heard it from someone else. All you do is you correct them and they're like, oh, you correct them by punching them in the face. And they'll be like, all right, that's not a good word, little yeah, guy. Like, don't you shouldn't, you shouldn't say that. Punch a four-year-old in the face? Uh, please, please don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> What would you do if there's a child right in front of you? Oh, bonk! <laughs> like, yo, that's bad. Don't ever say that, please. Yeah, it's just like, like uh, a thing I notice sometimes is people people get angry at comic relief. And why? It's, it's people... not bad. It's just a way to, like, dispel the stress in the room. Yeah, sure, it can be out of place sometimes, and it can be very uncomfortable when it happens, but, like, people use jokes as a way to cope with the insanity of this world. Yeah. yeah. Like, this world is so messed up that, pe like, if you took in everything at once at face value, you'd go you insane. Would... The, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you'd go Suicidal, you turn into a sociopath. It's like it was crazy. Yeah, you like jokes about serious topics are not bad. Yeah, they, like notice most comedians when you turn the situation into a joke that it becomes. Bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, the joking whole about the situation, it can be okay if it's done in good taste. Yeah, yeah. But like when you well, make like, fun of the situation as a whole, then you're doing something wrong. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah. Thing, and then making fun of it mm -hmm. and it's like it, it's a coping mechanism people yeah. do it to get their <laughs> thoughts out in a way that's not as uncomfortable yeah because notice yeah. comedians have like the darkest backstories mm -hmm. you know, like and that's because you know they had so much crap going on in their life they said they decided all right i need to cope with my insanity like a lot i'm gonna become really funny and then they, yeah. get so they make everyone laugh i'm gonna take my bad experiences in life, and I'm going to turn it into entertainment. I'm not diminishing the fact that it's bad, but I'm making it more, uh, more consumable. Yeah, like it's all, like I laugh at all the getting pulled over by a cop jokes because the people who do it, they're absolutely hilarious. Yeah, and it's like when jokes, <laughs> when jokes on hard topics are good and are done in good taste, they're funny. Yeah, and but if yeah. you can, if you they can make, funny. if you can make people happy, keep doing that. Yeah, but joking about it, like, huh? Ugh, I wonder what the face of was the guy went before he got pulled over and died. I was like that, you're freaking insane. Yeah, that's yeah. just. There's a good example of um, a not good taste when some kid made an Instagram account and like posts horribly racist things about like George Floyd and how it was his fault he died and like black magic uh causes death but it, it, but i think it was supposed to be a poor joke on how he's black and that's funny and right. also that black kids are not allowed in the uh, hogwarts but that doesn't make any sense and then you just end up making yourself look you know, yeah, look like you an just, idiot because who does that yeah and you, you make yourself look like a disappointing racist idiot 
Yeah. I, and that's not a good look for anyone. After people no, point that not. out, be like, oh, it's not my fault you don't get it. Be like, all right, yeah, that's on me. I sounded totally racist. I'm sorry. Instead of freaking, like, firing back at everyone. Yeah. It's just like, if you're going to make a joke about something like that, just try your best to make it not bad. And if it's bad, apologize. And then yeah. it's gone. Really think about it first and be like, all right, if I say this, will it be racist or will it actually be funny? Um, and it's if like, racist, that means I should keep my mouth shut. And if if you just say something for the moment, that's okay. It's not the best. But just apologize. If yeah. you genuinely yeah. didn't mean it. There's nothing wrong with apologizing. Yeah, of course it's not good that you said it. But because you apologized and you genuinely don't believe, like, what you said or, like, that you said something, like, if you said something bad and you genuinely don't believe it, you just said it spur of the moment, that's okay. If you recognize that that was bad, I'm not going to say it again, that's good. Yeah, yeah. You have to learn from it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our next thing. Yeah. Uh, do we want to do uh, Logan and Jake, or do yeah. we want to do something? Let's talk about <laughs> the let's, Paul let's Brothers. Because yeah. I'm probably more lighthearted, the, but not really. The, yeah. the small Slightly amount that you guys... topic, freaking like, the Paul Brothers. Yeah, the Paul small amount that you guys that have talked about up. have gotten me really interesting. <laughs> really interested. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's just get this straight. Jake sucks and Logan doesn't somehow. <laughs> yeah, somehow Logan is like actually winning the who's better in the Paul Brothers right as, now. As someone who has like criticized him many and impressed. Uh, like half of that sentence just got sucked into the void. You want to try again? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like Aaron got sucked away. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, well, I'm just saying, as someone who has criticized the Paul Brothers many times. I, uh, good job, Logan. I'm proud. Yeah. Yeah. He like, what is... some, like, he was spitting some straight facts. Yeah. What like, have they been oh doing? God. I was like, wow. Here, let me let me find the video really fast. Yeah. All right. I... I'll Please send do, it because like I lost that video on Twitter. I don't even know where it went. All right. Well... I, I, um... And then I... Jake, Jake's looting stores for the hell of it, even though he's rich and he does not need anything else. Yeah, yeah he's that's just, just... A, a jerk. He's doing he it for is. the content, that's like, why he's doing it. He's doing it for the content, and even his, like, two-year-old viewers should realize that this is maybe not right, and maybe yeah. that they shouldn't watch this or support it. Like, hate. You know, to the younger viewers, is like, oh yeah, um, looting when you already don't need, like, stuff? Freaking do it, because I'm epic. Yeah, like, you don't want popular people. Well, thank you, uh, crap. It's like, popular people doing bad stuff is just a recipe for disaster. I sent the yeah. video, the tweet that he made, right. two minutes yeah. long. Yeah, I was listening to another podcast. Um, I don't know if I should admit, or should I mention it? They're, who they are? It's um. Well, I don't know if we're allowed to, but maybe we are. Are yeah, we allowed to? Like we've been mentioning, hey. we've been dropping names in here. It's fine. Right. It was yeah. um. Oh, okay. They're really real known, so should I just say it then? I guess. Just knock yourself out. It's okay. Yeah. It was the Misfits podcast. Oh yeah, Misfits. And who knows them? I haven't watched and them, but I've heard about them. They were saying, like, as like for them as being content creators and lots of people of all ages watching them, they're kind of like a figure to the to their um pe- to their viewers, and whatever they do, like let's like this happens a lot, with especially YouTubers now. Like, oh yo, I'm wearing my own merch. They buy the merch and they start talking like them and acting like them because they really they, they really like them, you know. Mm-hmm. Like and your favorite, which one calls this? Your favorite vlogger, or whatever, starts going out writing for no reason. Then all the young minds are gonna be like, "Oh, that's cool. He's writing for no reason, and I want to be like him. I'm gonna write for no reason as well." Yeah, and I like uh, again, this is kind of one of those quotes that's just floating out there in the public mind or whatever. It's like, uh, oh, I just completely forgot about it. That's fun. Uh, imitation is the best for imitation is the largest form of flattery like if someone like likes you enough as a person or at least what they see of you that they want to be like you that is i that that's impressive <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it really is. makes you gives you gives you like a kind of like um a fatherly i guess responsibility yeah just like 
you have to you have to be a good role model for the people that watch you. Especially when when your uh, audience is young is people young. like the Paul brothers. Mm -hmm. So they, I mean, they do a lot of stuff that I really think they shouldn't do. But in this situation, I think Logan is doing the right thing. He yeah. is sending out the correct message while his brother is being the younger brother and doing the horrible thing, the worst yeah. thing. And other than starting a riot, he's doing the worst thing he can. Yeah. It's pretty much like, all right, you have an older best friend, and I suffered a lot for this. You have an older best friend, they're, and you're like, like they're your hero and all this, but then they do something bad, so you do it, and then you get in trouble for it. Like, you know. Are you talking about your brother, quote unquote? Wait. Are <laughs> right, well, talking I... about that good friend of yours that's not your friend anymore? <laughs> A story for another cat. All right, I sorry, I haven't been like listening to anything you're saying. I'm watching the video of Logan. You watched the oh, video. No, that's fine. Right, I'm just, I'm just like reading the subtitles, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad that he recognized um, why he can get away with so much of the nonsense he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm At least sad that Jake Paul it. hasn't. Yeah. If I don't know how about it. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt because I don't believe him. I don't even think he cares, honestly. If he I, did, he wouldn't have I done... I didn't watch that. I don't... Um, I, I honestly didn't... don't think he cares at all. I think he's just doing it for the clout. I don't know how mm. the brother who filmed a dead body came out looking better. Yeah. yeah I know, right? Like, what? just neither of them are very good. But, like, what, what I think... As long as you're saying... If you don't hey, do it... Doing... And making content that is helpful. Yeah, it's like, uh, I think it goes from a scale. You're saying the bad things and you're doing the bad things. That's the worst. But if you're saying the bad things but not doing anything, that's slightly better. If you're not saying anything, you're not doing anything, you're just right in the middle. And then you're saying the right things but not doing the right things. You're just not doing anything. Bit better. But then saying and doing the right things is the best. And I think... Mm -hmm. If you're saying the right thing, that's a that's a big step. And mm -hmm. if you're saying the right thing but doing the wrong thing, that's just a step. That's just that puts you right in the middle. You're not good. You're not bad. You're not helpful. Yeah, you're definitely not helpful. You're not helping the people doing the bad things, and you're not helping the people doing the right things. It. So if you're saying the good, if you're saying the right things, you should do the right things as well. If you say you're going to attend a protest and support Actually the people attend. who are peacefully protesting. Actually go and do it. Stand there. Support them. Don't be violent, because that's just doing bad things. But if you say you're going to a peaceful protest, go to the protest and be peaceful. Yeah. Hold yourself accountable. And that's what he said in the video. Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself, everyone hold around your friends, you. Hold yeah. your families accountable. And just because your family doesn't mean they get away with anything. Mm -hmm. They are another person in your life. If they do something bad, tell them off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Just like uh, Crystal Smith. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. because uh, you're part of the police force doesn't mean you can't ignore it. And even if you're part of the protest and you see someone start trying to start a riot, you need to hold them accountable. Yeah. You... You are allowed to tell them off at that point because they shouldn't be doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, that that reminds me of uh, pictures that I saw, where there were looters who were trying to get into a Target, and a bunch of other protesters came and stood in front of it to prevent them. I like yeah. those people, mm -hmm. not yeah. the looters, yeah. the ones who stopped them. Yeah, like those people are chill. Just like, and also, why why are you looting? What is the point? Yeah, Those, what is yeah. the point? I hear Why people are you say taking advantage of such a powerful movement. Yeah, it's just like yeah. I hear people say, people "Oh, it's because it's a big corporation." Well, yeah, that Wait, big corporation I... pays its employees. Those employees could be starving college students that need that money. Why are you True. taking that away from them? And here's a the thing for looters: you're just using um, George's death. You're not like being like, oh, I'm doing this for George because I love him. You're doing it. It's You're more saying I hate him and I'm just going to use him like a tool yeah. to get whatever I want. You, if, if you loot, you are not a protester. 
you, you are, are just criminal. someone who's trying you are a to criminal. take advantage of this situation. Which kind of sucks. You are not in the right. You need to stop. You know, it, it just makes sense. I'm you. And the places that are getting looted are small businesses. Yes. How so, are they supposed to be built? Like, you just destroyed a family's dream because you were so self-absorbed. Yeah, what, if you are you gonna pay for it because they're not gonna be able to. Yeah, if you work in that business and then people barged into your store, beat you and took your stock, what are you gonna do? That's not gonna feel good. That's gonna feel horrible. Why are you doing? No, it? probably also more violence is gonna go down there because personally, like let's say I own a uh, donut shop and some guy or like a group of looters bust into place and start taking my stuff. What am I going to do? I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to gr- find a weapon. I'm going to defend myself and my family. Yeah. And I have, just like... I have a story about that, by the way. Um, yeah. So there was like there was like a, a locally owned business by a family of uh, black people. I don't remember where, but um, they got looted and they tried to flag down the police. There was like press over there. So they were also helping trying to flag down the police. Uh, mm-hmm. When they finally did, they told them what happened. And the police arrested the store owners. What? And the press were just, like, screaming at them. Like, you can't arrest them. They're not the looters. And no matter what, they arrested the what? store owner. And it's like, what? what? Where did you in the direction of the looters? The press is agreeing with them. In fact, they were probably there when it happened. You're not listening. How could you do that? You're wasting your time doing like procedure stuff. I don't know. Wouldn't them just listen? let the people, you people who did the wrong thing go? You just let them go and yeah. you arrested the oh, innocent, innocent until proven guilty. Is that not a thing anymore? I it, like it. See, it honestly feels like it never was. It really does. How in anyone's right mind did they think? Ah, yes, we're going to let the criminals go and arrest the victims. Arrest, arrest the victims. The- it's no. insane. You're making, you're adding more onto a whole fizzing soda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you're taking a fire and being, so this this fire isn't where it should be. It's right next to a forest. We can either, uh, we can That's ignore it. Out. We can put water on it. Or we can put just straight oh, up a lighter fire fluid on it. Uh, yeah. Or you can get just pour get- more fire on it. <laughs> yeah. With your bucket of fire, you put you put your bucket of fire in the fire, and you make more fire. Well, no, it's like at that point, it seems like they were trying to put out the fire, but the water was actually on fire. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't even. Because it's like they were doing something, but they were doing it in the wrong direction. True. Yeah. I, <laughs> Well, within trying to put out the fire, you actually made it bigger, making the whole forest catch and fire. No, it's like, instead yeah. of putting water on the fire, they managed to take water out of the fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Drain up all the wood. That's just... Uh, uh... Okay, we've talked about the Paul Brothers now. We can now move on to our final topic. Yeah. COVID. Our idiot president. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cheeto man and COVID. At the, his stunts, everything, his what? Twitter, I am hey, so Listen, mad. If Aaron, you've got some stuff to say. You get to lead this one. Yeah. Aaron, I am. Lead the charge, Aaron. Oh, charge. I am. What? Here, I'm just going to go to his Twitter and argue with his tweets. Oh, my yeah, God. And just I like, feel like tweet he post just no. makes me so mad. No, no, it's just like... No. It's like it's becoming a serialized press releases. We just wait for the next one. What is he gonna say mm-hmm. next? What's he gonna do how, next? How is he gonna screw this up more? It's like a monster of the week anime, but it's the same monster just doing dumb things. Yeah, yeah. that's what this okay. has become. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna read first the pinned tweet on his account. Because oh it lord, makes me so mad. Okay. Here we go. My admin has done more for the black community than any president since Abraham Lincoln. Excuse me? He's done nothing. You have not, you lying done nothing. Piece of crap. No, you have oh, not. And more fire. Shut the hell up. Oh dear. And then he says, and the best is yet to come. Uh, oh. No, it's not. You're literally hanging to your bunker. And then when you say something, you just make it worse. Because now you want to use the military on your own citizens? This hasn't happened in basically 200 years. You, are, you can't. 
and you're holding a Bible? No religious person would ever, ever agree. Well, they shouldn't. That even, even the crazy <laughs> religious people don't agree with him at this point. Yeah, yep. you can't hold a Bible over yourself and say something so horrible. That yeah, you're not religious at that point. <laughs> you you deserve to go to hell. <laughs> I learned something from Trump, guys. So if I shoot a guy in the face while holding a Bible, you can't do anything to me. Yeah, it's right? okay if you're holding a Bible. Wait, where's yeah. my Bible? I have like a few of those. I'm gonna go on a crime spree shooting innocent bystanders because I have a Bible. Basically, like what he's giving off to me right now. And yeah, uh, it's not. That's not a good thing. God, this man tweets so much. He has one that literally just says "Law and Order." If that's gonna do anything, it's just like some of the guys, some of the the stuff I'm seeing here, like it, it makes some sense because like he retweeted someone from CNN, I think. Like CNN says there are some fine people marching with the looters and domestic terrorists. Like, yeah, there are good people there, but they're not. They shouldn't be there. Like, this is is just a fact. I I don't know what what he's trying to accomplish. I'm well, mad at the fact that he's like using the military or ready to use the military against the American people. He's oh, this own... close to martial law. A good thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, I don't. Thank like... God we only have half a year left with him. Well, I guess yeah. less at this point. I don't like and that. He... People, anybody who watches this who's able to vote, vote. Don't let he him come did. back in office. Our Wait. country has been torn apart by this man. He will make it worse. Yeah, he, he will actually he like go, go into revolution it. mode if if he stays. He's not helping the problem. He's fueling the fire. And if How you're can you there, stand behind a man who's tearing apart the country? <laughs> he hasn't said anything good about the movement. He hasn't even said Black Lives Matter. He doesn't say he supports the movement or anything. He's a racist piece of crap, and we should have to deal with this. He should yeah, he's, not be. He's a in racist office. bigot, sex offender who's gone bankrupt multiple times. Wait, wait, has it also been proven that, like, on a plane, he touched somebody's, uh... Who, oh, um, my goodness. Probably. Okay, he got... several, yeah, 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 yeah. On a plane, there's this lady wearing a skirt, and he was like, oh, I'm gonna touch her dear. And then, uh, years later, we're like, oh, yeah, you're the perfect president. Oh, yeah, yeah. totally. Let's vote for you. No. Yeah, let's what? vote for a registered sex offender. Great idea. Amazing, wonderful. Yeah. That's and just great, like, you know. We love sex offenders as our president. Yeah, and I'm going through his Twitter, and he retweets a thing from the Senate Republicans' Twitter. I mean, I, I'm not looking there. They're probably, hopefully, okay. But he retweeted probably a thing. not. If he retweeted that, they are not okay. Well, no, no. It's, the, it's a promotional video about the Launch America. Like, the, the launch that just happened a couple days ago. Oh, oh yeah, like, I saw that. That's Epic. really cool. But please don't mix up my rockets with politics. Stop please it. Please do not. I like. I want NASA to make more rockets. I don't want Trump to be mean to NASA. I don't. <laughs> okay, so we've got another another tweet that just kind of irks me a little bit, Uh-oh. a lot a bit. Um, <laughs> Oh, he says, so pathetic to watch the fake news lamestream media playing down the gravity and depravity, depravity, I don't know, the radical left looters and thugs ripping through our liberal Democrat run only cities. What? Huh? That doesn't make sense. Why, why, Why is he like, oh, the radical left looters and thugs are the worst problem here? Excuse me? They're a problem. You are the problem. If you are focused on the rioting and the looters, you are missing the point. You, yeah. are, you are completely in the wrong right now. You need to be focusing on the protests. Listen, That's if you like, what actually matters. Protests and riots. Blaming the radical left. You still you have problems. It's not the oh, radical left. It's anybody. It doesn't matter whether they're Democrat or Republican. I'm sure so many Republicans have been looting. Yeah. I'm sure many Democrats have been looting. I'm sure many people who aren't even registered to vote have been looting. Yes. <laughs> But it just like the a comment about that Law and Order tweet, he retweeted his own tweet. Yeah, of course he did. I, he's retweeting it. I've I, three days ago he retweeted the same Law and Order tweet. I, the oh heck? my god! It's starting to sound like a Terminator. It's kind of scary. Law, like imagine freaking a robotic Donald Trump coming after you, shooting down people. Law and Order takes three steps. Law and Order. 
I saw like something super stupid the other day. It was a uh, uh, they took Mark Zuckerberg and Donald Trump and they mashed them together. Oh, it was God. horrifying. Oh. It's like Zucker that. Trump. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. I, his profile picture just looks uncomfortable. Yeah, he doesn't look. <laughs> Anyways, he has another tweet from one day ago that was like, Washington, D.C. was the safest place on Earth last night. Like, really? Not right. No, the safest place on Earth last night was probably somewhere that doesn't have a Cheeto for a president. Was well, probably yeah. in freaking, like, Antarctica. Or yeah. Something. Like, the people in Antarctica are probably just chilling right now. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, like, all the natives to Antarctica and stuff, they're just chilling right now. Watching are you the, kidding me? Watching he the world he said, he said silent majority. Yeah, he said it twice. Oh, I only saw it ki- once. Are you kidding me? Are you yeah. kidding me? Are you you're calling on people to stop this? Oh my god. What? And oh my god. He just That's, like that really pisses me off. The, the thing that what like annoys just... me the most is he just ignores COVID. Like he, he calls it a democratic ho- democrat ho- hoax. Just like it's not. Just wait until someone you know dies from it. Just wait. I'm he hoping he dies from, to die from it. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, really hoping he gets I, it. I, like I, seriously. Yeah. Getting alive by a lion, and be like, ha, that lion's actually fake. Uh, it's it's a robot. I mean, like, bro, there's a person kind of like dying. Help, please. Um, excuse me. I'm like, what the? Okay. I'm like trying to keep myself somewhat calm. Okay, one day ago, I can't. Yeah. it's just, one day ago it's he so made another. How okay. can you even say these things? I have I have another tweet that he made. Okay, DC had no problems last night. Any arrests? Great job done by all. Overwhelming force. Domination. Likewise, Minneapolis was great. Thank you, President Trump. What was that? It was a bunch of small sentences. Domination is not a word you want to use when referencing your country. No. Especially yeah, no. Really high power, because then you start sounding like you're wanting to invade Then people. you sound like a dictator. Yeah. Which he wants to be. Like, he, he also I'm... just complimented himself, thank you, President Trump. Yeah, he's a narcissistic, Idiot. almost dictator. I... Yeah, I found another quote. Um, not a quote, a tweet. Okay, so here we go. Try not to die. I'm scared. You got it wrong. If the protesters were so peaceful, why did they light the church on fire the night before? People liked my walk to this historic place of worship. And then it just lists some, uh, like, senators and whatnot. Clearly this man... Are you an idiot? so caught up in his own world. You can't ask the peaceful protesters. Yeah. Oh, you can walk this walk. He's probably like me and has ADHD, and then whenever he sees a problem, he's like, oh, uh, deal with it really quickly. <laughs> and then he sends it. All right, good. I can go back. You're supposed to quell the fears of your citizens, supposed to fix the problems, not make them worse. All right. Cool. I, yeah. I had to mute myself for like the like past 10 seconds can you if you said anything important care to do you care to bring it up again no you're good we're mad all right. we're very mad that's yeah, all. yeah. That, that, that's understandable let's see okay here's a, here's another tweet i just don't really understand it getting real-time updates on a jewelry store looting from a friend watching it on his terrace down below at street level police nowhere in sight also just texted me i think i smell a car burning but remember folks this is about justice and if you don't agree you're bad Huh? Why does why what? does he take the looters and make them face of the entire thing? Yeah. He doesn't have to actually face the problem? If you think about it, the looters are the smallest percentage of people in the protests. They are. Yeah, but just like, it's the small group of people that are loud. It's the loud minority. That's just... And yeah. but then... Is standing there? Like, let's say, all right, big group of people standing there silently. Three guys yell. Who are you going to notice? The guys yelling. Yeah, not yelling. the not the entire field of people standing yeah. still with their fists raised. You're not going to notice those people. You're going to notice the three people attacking a cop. And then, you, and then he, I don't know why, is blaming is just putting the whole everybody like a freaking elementary school teacher. Do you guys remember when I was like, uh, that the guy replied to one of the tweets like he tear gassed a priest, Greta. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I found that tweet. I found that tweet. 
I feel bad for the priest because I'm pretty sure he was trying to like get out of there. I'm sure he was. Asked. Oh god, yeah. Just, okay. I like, hate literally, the fact that he they tear broke gassed up a, people. a priest, Greta. Yeah, they broke up an entire group of peaceful protesters so that Trump take a picture with a Bible. The book yeah. that I doubt he really truly I read. That. I was like, dude, I'm a bet that God is like really tempted to like strike you with a piece of lightning. Yeah, yeah and it's just like I'm pretty sure he's really tempted. There's another thing, a picture I found. It's the same guy that it's the he retweeted a tweet from the same guy that was talking about the friend on his terrace, but. Mm -hmm. It's a picture of, uh, of like all the store windows and stuff blockaded on Fifth Avenue. Don't know where, but it's important. And then Trump just uh, comment retweets: "The National Guard is ready!" Exclamation point. No, just, you're oh, not in a cartoon. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, this, this is like the whole uh, "I've got a button too" thing. Like, no, you can't say stuff like that. A lot of that is like, oh, my American people. The National Guard is ready. You better freaking find, uh, you better run and find cover. Yeah, and just like, all of the people, oh, um... all of the people purposefully ignoring the peaceful protests. Like, they are purposefully only focusing on the riots. So, <laughs> why, why did he declare Antifa, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, but I say it like that in Antifa. my head. Why did he declare that it terrorist organization I, I i don't even know what it is i i just Anti -fascist know fascist group yeah i don't i all i know is they have a really 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 bad reputation for doing bad things that's really all uh, i know about them and then there was that some guy that hit a guy in the head with a bike lock a couple years ago ouch yeah yeah bike lock I found guy another, yeah. uh tweet by the way some lady sorry aaron her name is aaron and that's yeah, a I real know, disgrace to you keep seeing her and i i want to take that name away from her because she is a disgrace she's a disgrace of the name aaron yes indeed okay anyways the queen is no no he isn't talking about uh our stupid president anyways he is protecting americans he's protecting america president at the real donald trump is putting america first and restoring our beautiful nation's law and order Wait, what can is I... he trying to restore it to that, that, he's uh, not i thought her as a really kinky person so huh? it's pretty much like saying, oh, you're protecting me when there's a bullet, or not a bullet, like a gun barrel in your face. It's That's called like, Stockholm Syndrome. He's not. Right there. Uh, he's you're not all doing protecting any... us. In a chair. How. He like... went and he hid in a bunker. Yeah. Yeah. He um he turned the lights off in the White House so people would like not uh, riot around there. Yeah. He um has threatened to use the military to stop the peaceful protests. Yeah, what the heck? How is that protecting <laughs> anyone? Like, yeah. He's just threatening millions of lives. At just... one point, I'm kind of scared. I have a feeling like if this escalates so much, he's gonna like have a ton, of, like a line of cops with really big guns, and he's gonna be like, "All right, fire onto civilians." This is gonna be. Would. This is going to be Detroit become human all over again when you have a line of riot police firing on androids for no reason. Like I would... Except it's not androids, it's real living, breathing people. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. I don't like the writer of uh, DBH, but like the message is there. It's just, like, it... don't, don't do this. It... <sighs> Uh... I am. World is turning into apocalypse real soon, y'all. Next thing you know is <laughs> yeah. Zon we're gonna be the Zon world is going to end, and it's gonna be Trump's fault. All right, bright side of the apocalypse, though. I get to have a mohawk at least. <laughs> sure. I, like I, already do that. I wanna look epic. I'm apocalypse like isn't gonna be as pretty as Hollywood wants you to think. I know. Oh no. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, if you think about it, it's going to be ten times worse, so. Yeah. Can I still get a mohawk? Yeah, go for it. Get a mohawk. I mean, if you want to go ahead. Oh, I'm going to get myself a motorcycle from the Harley Davidson store right down the street. Right. I'm getting the tricycle. We're going to town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so, uh, before any of us just explode, how about we do, How about we talk about a, uh, a peaceful topic, coronavirus? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just like I, 
really hope that the protesters out there are like being really safe because like no they yeah, are I'm, you know, I'm they impressed are. by that a lot of them are wearing masks which is really good. I, yeah. I really yeah. hope that they all are wearing masks and hopefully sort of being distant, but I get it that they can't because, you know, that's a lot of people. Yeah. And they're cops. Like, I've seen some protests or, like, protests a couple months ago. Like, I think it was I think it was a European country protesting how their government was reacting to COVID, but everyone was in a perfect six-foot-away grid, and it was actually it was really cool to see. I actually kind of thought there'd be like a protest, but everyone was in their car, you know? That would actually be, that'd be interesting. Be but then people, too. like cars would just constantly be running into each other, so it'd be a horrible idea, but it'd be that interesting. Be and just like, all of the people just refusing to wear a mask, claiming it's violating their rights. What, uh, what, what right? What right? Yeah. It's not, it's not violating any rights. I, but yeah. you're still- the risk that you could get a virus and spread it to your loved ones. Is yeah, crazy. and just... people don't seem to understand that this, like, this is a real thing that can kill you. It's, it's not, not a hoax. Like, like, it's not a hoax anymore. We have there's proof yeah. that it's actually there. It's like you it's guys not... keep talking about this. I gotta go eat dinner. All right. <laughs> I also gotta go eat dinner soon, so we'll probably wrap this up pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> but just the thing that annoys me the most about Corona is just. The Karens. Oh, yeah. Stop. You guys heard of the story of the, there was these people trying to graduate or the, the doing the graduation thing and this Karen freaking stood in front of the people saying, you guys are causing traffic. Huh? Which prevented the person seeing more people saying, congratulations, you graduated 2020. Uh, it's like, like oh, you didn't go to high school, did you? <laughs> yeah, and the people who are standing in front of ambul- ambulances. Why? Get run over. Get Why? run over by a semi truck. Okay, if you don't believe in Corona, whatever. But there could be a heart attack patient in that ambulance. Why are you stopping it? You still yeah. believe in heart attacks, don't you? No. <laughs> Unless you don't, in which case I hope you get one. Yeah. Okay, vax, so stop it. Actually, vaccinations cause all diseases. That's true. Oh, yeah. You, you can't get a heart attack. You can't die if you vac- uh, don't vaccinate. Really. I got a vaccine and it's kind of cool because now I don't get HPV. Ha ha. 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 Yay so- for modern medicine. Except for Karen's being back there, like, nope, I don't want, nope. Yeah. Well, on the topic of Karen's, though, have you seen all of the Karen's who are like. Better. On the topic of Karens, have you seen all the Karens who are, like, at the protests right now that are like, we're Karens and we stand with you? Uh, so they don't like the name Karen, but then they identify with the we, name Karen? They don't like the name Karen, but they're like, you know what? It doesn't really matter right now. I mean, going to use it anyway. Like, I guess some oh, of them are still, like, good enough people that yeah. they're just like, okay, yeah, we don't like what we're being called but we're still going to be a reasonable person. Uh, and I mean, there's, there's a there's reason. also like witches and um, Amish people out there too. I just think that's pretty neat. Yeah. Is it bad that I think that I would trust a w- person who labels himself a witch more than a Karen? I wouldn't trust either, but I like, I would, I would, I would trust a witch more. I would, mu- I would be much more interested in a witch than a Karen, just because yeah. it, it seems, it seems interesting. Whereas just a Karen is just like, what? Why are you why are you getting mad at the manager of a store for not letting you in without a mask? True. You're just wasting time. You're making hey, it harder uh, for the store to provide for its community. You're making it harder for yourself to seem like a normal person. I, <sighs> true. You're making it much easier for people to make fun of you. I, <laughs> You're, you see the problem and you just make it worse instead of trying to reverse it back. Yeah. Alright, well, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go have dinner soon. I need to go to the bathroom too. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed listening to our rambling. This uh, is mostly just us, like, airing but- out our own thoughts. Yeah. There's not much this else was- we can do. We're, we're all too young for like yeah. this was This else. was all Maya. She organized this. All the credit goes to her. If you want yeah. to listen to 
us or not, that's your choice. Yes, we are just a bunch of kids, but... Yeah, we'll put... Yeah. If you want to support BLM and all the good stuff, we'll put some links in the description. Yeah. Uh, we'll put the links to the pictures and materials we were talking about. And like we said at the beginning, you probably have no idea who we are. Uh, once I edit this and upload it, we'll have we'll have the first episode of our actual podcast where, where you'll get to know us some more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you enjoyed our ramblings. We might be back somewhat regularly. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll be back. So, so like and share, y'all. Yeah. Also, also, quick note: out and vote because we can't. Yeah. Like, be yep. respectful. Vote for what you believe in. Just be a be a cool person. If you disagree yeah. with someone, don't be violent. Just be chill. And uh, yeah, have a good. Thank you for listening. Yeah.